Yeah, um, just a, an incredible day and an incredible performance by our, our student athletes today. Uh, I think it's really tough when you're going into a, a day where, you know, after after yesterday, uh, you have to flip it around and, and, and get two Ws. Um, but these guys just kept fighting and fighting and fighting and uh, um, just stuck to the process like we asked them. And we always tell them, if you play the game the right way, if you're respectful, if you respect your opponents, if you respect the officials, if you respect the game, the game will pay you back. And we feel like um, the game paid us back today. Uh, let's go. How about uh, Samantha and Maggie? You guys are both uh, uh, our baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two comes to mind when today after losing uh, last night. A lot of, a lot of determination, a lot of grit in, in coming back from, from the deficit. What was that like for you? You know, we just kind of, it depended if we were going to be on offense or defense. When we came into that circle, we all just took a deep breath and said, okay, we've been here before. We've come from behind losses before and won. So just stick to our game plan and really just be confident in everything that we do because we are good ball players. Yeah, uh, I agree. I think that all of us had overwhelming confidence no matter where we were at in the lineup, uh, no matter who was in the circle and who was playing anywhere. I think that really shows um, the determination and our prepar preparation, preparedness for this. <laughs> um, because we all, without a doubt, had confidence in each other going into it, and I think that really helped. Uh, she had a big hit to tie it up in the first game. Um, just, we remember from that at bat. Honest. Yeah. Honestly, I literally turned to Maggie Kadrilik and I said, I blacked out. I don't <laughs> so I just remember hitting the ball and running, and I was on second base, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm here. <laughs> the best. All right. Uh, Ashley, uh, you know, a little bit of trouble with them last night. Uh, a lot more effective today. Uh, what was different? Um, I don't know. I kind of think today we had a better, like, looming like no doubt about it attitude like the whole team did so I think that that kind of helped my confidence out in the circle too and especially having knowing that having we have other pitchers out there behind me too is really helpful so uh, Maggie K, uh, couple, couple just showing them how it's done I guess I'm just <laughs> All this to do it. Um, I don't know. It was just grinding, and the team just like stayed with the grind and stayed with the process. A lot of teams kind of think it's game day, so the process is over and the results are going to happen. But we, no matter like the very first pitch, the very last pitch, all day today, and, like first game to this game, we just stayed with the process and grinded through. And I think that was like the overall presence that we held and the confidence we had in each other. You could just feel the vibes going back and forth. They were like, hey, we're grinding through this. We have grinded all year. This is our 72nd game, like not counting anything in the fall. Like we've everything we've done up to this point has prepared us for these kind of games. And we knew that coming in today that this was nothing, nothing but a game. And it looked like they were trying to work inside after that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bruised, but it's OK. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> You know, uh, we wanted to, to give them a little a bit of a different look with Amber. Um, and so we, we had, a, had a game plan. We knew we were going to go to Ashley. Um, it was just when. And uh, I had put my lineup together so if I really wanted to, I could go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth without it being a um, you know, substitution. And so that was, that was our game plan for, for today. You know, I'm extremely proud of this group, and I think it's it's unreal. It is. I'm kind of stunned and, and just kind of almost numb because I it, it'll sink in eventually. But uh, but what I'm really proud of is is how these guys have played, and it's just a, a reflection on on them as people. Um, and, and on the program and on our athletic department and on our school as a whole because this does not happen if we do not have um, administrators who support us in the athletic department, coaches, other coaches who support us, 
and then administrators at the top of the school that support us. And so this is this is a lot bigger than just just our team. And we're just proud to to uh, represent Augustana University. So how about this? I will ask you too, just in terms of what does it feel like? What's going through your mind outside campus? You know, as being a senior, we knew today was going to be. We pushed it until the very end. <laughs> we, we were playing until we couldn't. You know, we. We even had two games today, you know, so we, it wasn't 71, it was 72, but um, it's, I'm literally speechless. I, that ground ball came to me and I was just like, oh my gosh, I can do this, I will do this. Um, but then after that, it's like so surreal just because there's only one team that ends with a win in all over the country. And it's just to be able to be that team, to be able to have 16 of my closest friends next to me to do that is just like something I will never forget. And as like my time is done here, but to end it on a win is just the absolute best. Gotcha. Um, same. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> yeah, being, a, being a senior and ending it on a win is just the greatest feeling ever. And I just, I love sharing it with my best friends next to me. and. I told the other media earlier that when I'm 80, we're just gonna, we're all gonna be together, we're gonna play some cards and we're gonna reminisce about this, this moment. And it's just unreal. And I'm so glad that we, I could do it with all my 16 best friends plus coaches. <laughs> I'm incredibly proud. Um, all year, us four, well, since the first day, I think since we walked on campus, but this year specifically, we have held this team to an extremely high standard. And when we weren't playing to a level that satisfied us for, <laughs> I definitely got into them and said, this is not how you play national championship softball, even if we were playing whoever and we could have eight run them but I probably wasn't satisfied for how many runs that we scored and just like showing how selfish selfish self self selfless, selfless <laughs> this team is like from like one to 17 is just amazing and then just besides us 17 and coaches like all the girls that came before us that taught us the culture taught us the way of Augustana softball that wore these jerseys before us like they were definitely all here and they taught us everything that we know on how to lead and how to play this game to its integrity and um, just really happy that we could do this and show them how much we appreciate like their impact on us and the sport. <laughs> Um, well, Sam and I were talking this morning, and we were like, is it a good or a bad thing that we know when we're going to be done? Like, most seasons, you don't really know. So, you know, you're not really, you don't really prepare yourself to be done ever because postseason's postseason, and you just go out and do as well as you can. Um, but I think I came to the conclusion that I was, I'm happy and I'm grateful that I knew that today was the last day because it gave me a chance to really soak everything in. And really be here and be in the moment and be present. And I think that um, is something that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life, definitely. I, um, gosh, I don't know. I really, <laughs> thank you. Shoot. Yeah. Well, it's definitely crazy, it's surreal. It's hard to even put words to it, but as an underclassman, all of these seniors up here have been great leaders for our team the whole year. And just as underclassmen and the rest of the team, we just knew we wanted to do this for them. And like, it's their last day, it's their last game. We wanted to do it for them because they've been such great leaders for us. So it's amazing that we could do it. I was gonna ask you to be a sophomore and how much you're attributing this to the seniors and you know, on this biggest stage, it's gotta be uh, just an incredible game. Yeah, it's crazy. It's hard to even put words, like I said. <laughs> Coach, let me ask you one more question. I want someone else wants to chime in, just in terms of, did you just, uh, this team obviously has a great history and program. We were telling these girls at the beginning, we're going to win a national championship this year. What was some of that kind of <laughs> And then uh, kind of see everything kind of come to fruition. Um, we started in the fall, the coaching staff, talking to these guys about a relentless pursuit um, for their goal. And their goal was to win a national championship. My goal for them was for them to put themselves into a position to go and, and do great things at, at the national level. So for me, that's making it a regional tournament and go with it. But these guys were the ones that said <laughs> national championship from day one. So we really talked to them about relentless pursuit and what does that mean? And that means that you have to put in so much extra time and effort and have great team chemistry and everything that goes along with that. And I think that they really bought into that. And uh, we've talked about that all year long. And I think it showed today because there was a relentless pursuit coming back and coming back and coming back to do what they did. Is there anything else you want to add before we end this? Is there anything else you want to say? I, I'm just incredibly, um, just incredibly proud of them. Um, 
because I just think our, our team is very, as they said, it's, it's selfless. And we have lots of kids that are sitting on that bench who could be starters on other teams or maybe have been starters on our team. And everyone bought into their role this year and played a part in this. And that's what has made this team so special. Because without that happening, this, this doesn't happen. Um, and so I'm just incredibly proud of their hard work and their dedication. And I'm even more proud of the type of kids they are uh, because they are empowered young women who are gonna go make a difference in the world.